Twins and the Tigers do battle for a fourth and final time. They're going to turn right around and face each other in Detroit next week for the Tigers to win a series. If they can triumph today, they haven't won a series since the last week of May when they took two of three from the White Sox. Again, the Twins hoping for a split. Since May 1st, the Twins, Tigers, and Guardians identical 19 and 23 records in the American League Central. Louis Varland for the Twins. Varland 3-2 and two with a 4 7 0. He has never faced Detroit, and hopefully Louis Varland able to just take the ball and run with it here today against the Tigers. He's been home run prone, but the Tigers don't hit a whole lot of home runs here in 2023, and we'll see how that matchup plays out. Ground ball and a base hit into left field. Caught her down, and Kerry Carpenter was on it. Big hole between Correa at short, who was up the middle, and Castro, who was closer to third. Ground ball single. And here comes Javi Baez, who the Twins finally kept quiet yesterday. But Baez, boy, he came up with some huge swings Thursday and Friday as he bats the man on two out in the first inning today. Baez swings and drives one deep to right field, down the line, slicing by the foul pole and off the wall. Kicks away from Kepler all the way back down the right field line. Carpenter will score, and Baez will make it all the way to third. Two-out triple. Baez comes through again, and the Tigers take a 1-0 lead here in the first. Good hitting here by Javi Baez. Did not try to do too much with this fastball up and out over the plate from and just rifled this ball off the right field wall. Baez, his second triple in this series, his 35th RBI, and the Tigers with back-to-back two-out hits have a one nothing lead early today. And now here is Nick Maton, and the 0-2 swing and a miss struck him out at a cutter, and that's the inning. So Varland strikes out one, but the Tigers score one on a Baez two-out run scoring triple. They leave him at third base as the Twins will come up here bottom one, trailing by one. It'll be a bullpen day for the Tigers, and coming in now for the bullpen Pen starting for the second time in this series is right-hander Will Vest. So the Tigers come up with some two-out hitting. Let's see if the Twins can answer back. Kirilov does his job. He reaches with a two-out single, and now Correa bats. Carlos O for his last 11. One ball, two strikes. Kirilov at first. Twins down one. And the pitch, a swing to ground ball. Up the middle, base hit center field. Kirilov around second base and hang on as Mariznik picks it up and flings it back in. So back-to-back two-out singles. And with a lefty coming up in Kepler, lefty Tyler Holton is coming in. Early decision-making going on here. First inning, Twins have two on, one out, down one nothing. And now lefty Tyler Holton is on early, and Max Kepler will bat for himself. Runners go, 3-2, check swing, could not hold back that time. It was a slider, and Kepler strikes out. Twins don't score, they strand two. At the end of one, Tigers one, Twins nothing. Second baseman Andy Ibanez. Is 0 for 5 in this series with a couple of walks and a run scored. Sends one right center field. Taylor on the run. He leaps. He can't get it. Off the wall to bounce. Ibanez has three on his mind but puts on the brakes. He'll settle for a leadoff double here in the second. Good start to the inning for Andy Ibanez. Ibanez to third, so two on, two out. Tigers by one for McKinstry. Marisnik runs. Fastball high. Marisnik will be tagged out as a perfect throw from Vasquez to Correa. And that's the inning. So Marisnik was running. Vasquez threw home to second and fired a dart to Correa, waiting, catching, and tagging out. The trail man, Marisnik, to end the inning. Go to the bottom of the second inning. one nothing Tigers over the Twins trying to take this four-game series. The 1-2 grounded foul to third. That's a fair ball, and it's missed by Maton. That ball is going to roll fair and find the sidewall. And Farmer's going to make second base standing. And the Twins have a runner at second. Nobody out. Tying run is on. So now Vasquez, one for his last 21. Farmer at second, one out. Twins down one. Farmer, the tying run at second, one out. And the one-two pitch. Line to left field, down the line, in the corner. That ball is going to be a fair ball. As it stays in play, one ops off the wall. Vasquez to second base. There's a big swing from the veteran. It's a game-tying RBI double, and it's a 1-1 game at target field. Twins have two doubles in the inning. Vasquez brings in Farmer. We head to the fifth inning. 1-1 tie. Tigers and Twins wrapping up a four-game set in Minneapolis. Jake Marisnik leads off. Been a battle for Louis Varland. Tigers have a good swings in every inning, but so far just the one first inning run. Fly ball into center field. Hit well. Late break by Taylor. Jumps up and can't come up with it. Marisnik runs well around second base. He's going to drive for three. Throw goes into third base. Not in time. It's a good arm there by Taylor all the way from right in front of the warning track. One hop third base, but Michael A. Taylor, line drive hit right at him. He kind of stumbled a little bit in going back on the ball and jumped up, just missed it. Runner, go ahead, run at third base. And now here's Torkelson. Torkelson 0 for 2. He is 3 for 14 in this series. He came in. He was swinging a hot bat. Fly ball left field and deep. 
Gallo drifting back, looking up. That ball's out of here. A two-run blast for Spencer Torkelson gives the Tigers the lead. Number eight is a two-run shot, and the Tigers take a 3-1 lead in the fifth. Good swing on a 2-2 cutter from Spencer Torkelson. I'll tell you what, works to count to 2-2 and then gets a cutter that is on the outer edge away from him, and he hooks that bad boy into the bullpen in left center field. Carpenter bats one on the way. He sends one same spot. Taylor on the move, and that ball's in the bullpen. Out of here. Back-to-back -back bombs for Detroit. 4-1 Tigers. Kerry Carpenter with number five. Back-to-back -back with Spencer Torkelson. He did not miss this one. He drove this one into the bullpen again. That's a tough, tough pitch, and he handled it, hit it a ton to left field. Torkelson with a home run. Carpenter with a home run. Three instant runs. Nick Maton draws a walk. That will be the end of the day for Louis Varlin. Tigers hit him out of the game with a triple, two home runs, a single, and a walk here in the fifth. Making his major league debut, Jordan Balazavic up from the minor leagues. Big right-hander from Canada, Mississauga, Ontario. Acquired in the fifth round of the 2016 draft. Anya is the first to face him. Baez is the runner at second. Maton at first. Tigers trying to add to a 4-1 lead. Anya is ground ball and a base hit into left field. They're waving Baez home. Up with the ball as Gallery's got a good arm. Throw to the play. Not in time. Baez slides in safely. Throw to third. Not in time. Down to second goes Ibanez. Tigers take a 5-1 lead here in the fifth inning. And now here is Cabrera. And the pitch on the way. Swung on hit in the air center field. Taylor back in front of the warning track. Now on the warning track. He'll get that back in the infield as Maton will tag up. He'll score. And there is the fifth run of the inning. 6-1. Six, 6-1 one. Six, one Tigers as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Alex Lang will be the sixth Tigers pitcher today. He's been closing games for Detroit. Ten saves. We'll have the eighth inning today. Taylor 0 for 2 today. 1 for his last 13. And 1-0. Oh, and that hit him. Taylor got hit on his helmet and he is down and Taylor is in obvious obvious pain he is lying down right now in the batter's box and then that breaking ball it never had a chance and the crowd responding as Michael is now on all fours and he will be able to walk off on his own so Taylor will not stay in this game he will be taken inside the clubhouse undergo further examination so a hit batter and no walk. And the Twins have two on, nobody out for Willie Castro. Swing a line drive right field. That's a base hit. This will land. It's cut off in the corner by McKinstry. Jeffers will score. Julian to third base. That's an RBI double. And the Twins have some life here. It's a 6-2 ball game. Second and third and still nobody out in the eighth inning as Castro comes up with a clutch 0-2 swing. Boy, what an inning this has turned out to be. Two hit batters, a walk, only one ball in play, and Lang will stay in to face Correa. Target field is alive here. Wins down four, three on, nobody out. The 1-0 pitch in the dirt, skips away. Julian, he will score on a wild pitch. Julian is in, Castro to third, holding at first base. Solano, it's a 6-3 game on a Lang wild pitch. Royce Lewis, the batter, Tigers six, Twins three. Go ahead, run at the plate. Jason Foley, right hand around the mound for Detroit. And the 0-1. Ground ball up the middle. That's going to be a base hit in the center field. Castro scores. And that's it. It's an RBI single for Lewis. It's a 6-4 game. Holding it third base. Solano. Correa down to second. And the line keeps on moving. Royce Lewis picks up the RBI hit. And the Twins are within two. Byron Buxton is going to bat here in this eighth inning. Three in, three on, but now two out. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Strike three called. He got him with a perfect fastball down and away. What a job by Jason Foley. Twins make it uncomfortably close with three runs, but we head to the ninth. Tigers on top, 6-4. It's up to Willie. RBI double last inning, one for four today. The line drive to left field. Ibanez there makes the catch. Castro lines out. Tigers win. What a performance by Jason Foley. Tigers hanging by a thread, then Jason Foley retires the last six in order with four strikeouts. The Tigers take the series from the Twins, our final score. The Detroit Tigers six and the Minnesota Twins four.